Grace from all of us here at 2K TV and welcome to our holiday special. We hope you're enjoying the holidays with family, friends, loved ones, and of course, showing that 2K dominance on everybody. You forgot gifts. That's my favorite part of the holiday season. And let's get this show started with a gift from us to you in the form of VC. Yeah, so are you ready for some 2K TV interactives? We saw the WNBA launch the Commissioner's Cup, but what are your thoughts, Doris, about a mid-season tournament being added to the NBA? Kevin. Substitution for the Warriors. MPs checked in for Wiseman. Jermichael Green comes in for Draymond Green. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And Poole subbed in for Curry. And a new group in for the Nets. He's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Warren comes in for O'Neal. Thomas checked in for Kevin Durant. And Harris subbed in for Edmund Sumner. Setting the floor for the Nets. They've got Harris. T.J. Warren out there with Sharp. Then it's Simmons. And it's Thomas in at the three, the small forward. Here's Warren. Here's Simmons. Nails the baby hook. Simmons. Simmons got six. Well, this is one aspect you'd like to see more of from T.J. Warren. We know he's a great scorer. Pretty dime there. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Now, I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well no 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 and they get the major league dunk out of it too and my question is where was the help someone rotate over and challenge warren kicks to harris warren against green and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line I think one area we've clearly seen a marked improvement from T.J. Warren over his career is his willingness to take threes and to make them consistently. It's getting on par with that great mid-range game he has. And you know, Doris, the uptick in Warren's long-range shooting has led to more minutes. Well, it certainly gives a coaching staff confidence that will help with the flow of the offense. Defenders are forced to guard him on the perimeter. They can no longer sag and be in the gaps with him. Dante DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Last game for Brooklyn, they picked up the W against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. One thing we know, great teams in the NBA get production off the bench, and that was critical that night. DiVincenzo finds Poole. Shot clock at five, down low, and stolen by Harris. Poole against Simmons. Shoots over Poole. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second person foul. Great Ben Simmons, one of four players in the entire history of the NBA. Warriors leading by six. So for Brooklyn now, Durant is the four, with Claxton playing the five. Then it's Joe Harris. Then there's Warren, and it's Sumner in at the one. Well, the gravity that Curry commands, it always leads to wide open looks for the guys around him. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Ulf. David. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Cavaliers was all business. He finished with 47 points and caused real problems for shooters with his shot blocker. He put up numbers that really jumped out in the box score. A very solid performance. Kevin will see what he's got in his arsenal tonight. Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. One of the things I like about this guy, he's able to up the intensity whenever needed, and players really feed off his energy. Here's Sumner. Oh! You've got to be kidding. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. 
Uh, passing may be the most overlooked aspect of Kevin Durant's game, but you know he wants his teammates to feel good. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Royce O'Neal's checked in for T.J. Warren. There seems to me to be a quiet toughness to Kevin Durant. This is a guy who makes his own decisions, shuts out the noise, and is willing to embrace change. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Passes it to Sumner. On the wing, Harris. And there's the pass to Claxton. Harris against Thompson. From deep three-point range, and it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Golden State basketball. Here's Curry. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. Thompson against Harris. Wiggins passes to MP. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. GA with their fourth title. The combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green. The single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. The, the most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by Golden here in the State second foul. quarter. And the foul called on MP. Third person of foul. That's his third foul second of the game. Foul. Warriors on D. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And James Wiseman picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Third, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. Yep, that one goes in there. Sumner. Sumner's got four points now in the quarter. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. To the middle. And the dunk by MP. But taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Pass to O'Neal. Pass to Harris. KD on the wing. Five to shoot. From 12 feet out. And too long on the shot. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. It's a five-point game. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Nets. That one was played in Brooklyn. Yeah, I remember last time they met up, they just got ran out of the building. They weren't too happy with some of the calls in that game either. Yeah, their starters got into foul trouble, and it felt as if some of the calls were tick tack no doubt. But nonetheless, damage was done. O'Neal, that's a two-pointer. And it's MP with the rebound. Warriors leading by seven. To the inside. And finished off by Weisman. Uh, Clay Thompson understanding how to read the floor and make the right choice. Yes, he can score it, but good vision there. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. This is it to O'Neal. The pass to Claxton. Here's Sumner. Off target with his three. Golden State's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Thompson passes to Kerr. MP. And MP throws it down. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. On the wing, Harris. Pass to O'Neal. 
back to Harris. They need this. Shot clock reset for the Nets. No good from Durant. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. To the paint. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Curry. Curry's got assist number eight here in this one already. Nets trail by 13. And the first time out called of the game for Brooklyn. And in this era of positionless basketball, of course, we're starting to see some guards who end up playing in that dunker spot down low more than on the perimeter. Let's call them little big men, Kevin. Guys like Bruce Brown, Gary Payton second. These are powerful athletes, unbelievable vertical spacers. They set great screens. They can finish as a roller. I love the use of these undersized guys who don't necessarily shoot it well in this role. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. The edge on the... is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry is loyalty. Sticking with this Warriors franchise since being drafted back in 09. And talking about Steph, he is the face of the franchise. And his loyalty is shown. Steph's been a model citizen, never complains, never causes any issues, willing to work with young teammates. He is the ideal superstar to build around. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Well, no question that Stephen Curry's ability to shoot from range has changed the game. Three-point shooting no longer a specialty. guys it's almost mandatory to play in the league he doesn't get the second one and after that trade request this summer Kevin Durant still a Brooklyn net but the offers weren't enough to move the needle and the decision was made to run it back one thing's for sure when you've got KD you've got a chance and a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And at the arc, Joe Harris rarely fails to impress a natural shooter. Well, this guy, Joe Harris, is obviously a guy who puts a ton of work in in practice. You don't leave the league in three-point percentage as he did back in 2021 off talent alone. It takes dedication. It takes confidence and commitment to your craft. And Joe has all of that. Durant inside. Covered by Wiggins. KD with the bucket. KD's got 14 points for the game. 
Man, he is working them over on the inside. I'll tell you this. Kevin Durant every year gets more comfortable with the physicality of defenders. Incredible. And Kevin Durant has talked about the big 15 for the Nets, but Doris depth has been a concern. Yes, but Kevin, give Kevin Durant credit because he understands that he cannot win a championship by himself. An organization has got to manage payroll with big contracts and then find bargain role players. It's going to be a key to achieving their goals. Here's Sumner. He had 10 points in the win against Utah. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And it goes on Tremont Green. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And Brooklyn making a change here. Thomas has checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They're on a 19-7 run. Simmons against Curry. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Pass to KD. Here's Sumner. He's covered by Thompson. Sumner passes to Claxton. Shoots from 14. No good on the shot. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. What a duel that was. Exciting all the way to the end. Really a shame someone had to walk away with an L. I'll tell you, overtime games usually are special. And this one qualified for that. But both teams absolutely gassed at the end. It'll do it for the first half. The end of the first Warriors half. The lead by 15. Your Warriors, 71. The Nets, 56. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be... MP's checked in for the Warriors. It's the Nets now, trailing by 17. And Wiseman sends it back. And on a per-minute basis, Wiseman already gets a lot of blocks, and his defensive awareness will only improve Still with time. On the wings, Thompson and Wiggins. Wiseman's out there with MP, and it's Curry in at the point. That's the Warriors' five. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad hooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying, and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Good advice. David, thanks. Well, make them foul to stop you. That's what Andrew Wiggins does. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And even with the ratings going strong, the younger generations often cord cut. How does the NBA engage that audience? Kevin, I think making game action trend on social media and when big moments happen for a, maybe a small fee, allow people to be a part of it. It's like highlights, but live. And the dunk by MP. It really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Here's Claxton. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Claxton's got six points in the quarter. Never expect Ben Simmons to miss a wide open teammate. What a pass right there. Inside. And there's the bucket from MP. 25 points for MP. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. O'Neal against MP. Down low. Back to O'Neal. 
Puts up a three. Good on the triple. O'Neal's got his second basket of the night. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Here's Thompson. Uses the glass to finish the way. And the Warriors lead by 20. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. That was the second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Here's MP. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Simmons passes to O'Neal. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Here's Sumner. Offline with his three. And so MP will bring it up for Golden State. Passes it to Kerr. Kicks it to Thompson. To the paint. MP. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his seventh assist in the game. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. There's the pass to Claxton. Outside Durant from the arc. Made that one. It's his seventh of the contest. Seven for 15 from the floor. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. MP dishes to Wiggins. Back to MP. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. First personal foul. Wow. Wow, Second he got whacked five. on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. The line for the and what do you guys think Number so far about one. the offensive approach for the Warriors? Guys, they've done everything they can in this one to just dominate that backboard offensively and keeping control of the ball and then converting. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. On the wing, Harris. Six to shoot. Back to Durant. Deflected by MP. And here we go. MP heading to the hoop. Now here's Curry. Guarded closer. It's stolen by Harris. Outside, KD. Harris kicks to Durant. Here's Sumner, guarded by Kerr. Sumner's shot is off. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And the dunk by MP. Well, late rotation by the defense, and Wiggins has the vision to find the open man. Durant, the pass to Warren. Nine feet out. Warriors with the rebound. MP's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Wiggins dishes to MP. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Some changes for Golden State. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for Weissman. And Poole subbed in for Wiggins. Thomas checked in for the Nets. And stolen by MP. For the finish. And MP throws it down. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Thomas outside. No good that time. And Golden State will come the other way. Curry finds Poole. Out to Thompson. It's stolen by Harris. Pass to Thomas. And they pick up two. And the Warriors with possession here. 
Curry looking it over. It's deflected. Stolen by Warren. Outside Thomas. Pass to Sumner. And they call an illegal screen here. And you know, guys, in the first half, he was a lot more focused. Maybe he's feeling the heat of the defense a bit more here in the second. Golden State's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. To the middle, stolen by Durant. Cloak loose, stolen by Thompson. By himself, and it's Thompson with the jam. Clay Thompson is as effective on the defensive end as he is on the offensive end. Really good reach there to knock that thing away. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. And Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941 day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Pass to Thomas. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. And no good. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Thompson with the bucket. And talk about playing to your strengths. Getting Thompson a look from the corner, that's as bankable as almost any play you can call. Durant, no good. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Yes, that goes in. And it's nine points for Jonathan Kaminga. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Just five to shoot. Stolen by Thompson. Golden State's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. And the pass by MP. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now the pass to Harris. Back to KD. And he uses the glass on the layup. KD's got 19 points. Yeah, early in his career now, Kevin Durant could be knocked off his rhythm, but now he's put on that good weight over the years, making himself able to absorb that physicality. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Third person foul. And he can't get the first one. Raymond Green's checked in for Kaminga. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Well, KD still a net after asking for a trade. The, the team looked, but didn't feel a deal was there. And Durant will continue to play, but you feel like this story could drag on until the trade deadline or beyond. Six on the shot clock. Sumner off the mark there with the three-point shot. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been a putrid here this quarter. Last contact on the shot, and now a three-point... So for the Nets, O'Neal's checked in for Harris, and Simmons subbed in for Thomas. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Warriors. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so it'll boost this year's win total for them to 29. No doubt they came in very motivated to win this one and finish the season series at a game apiece. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for MP. And the way he rebounded, he surely was a spark for the team as he was securing Brooklyn everything foul. that came off the iron. Then Setting the four for the next. We've got Durant. So O'Neal out there. And Simmons is out there with Warren. And it's Sumner in at the two spot. And a new group in for the Nets. Sharps checked in for O'Neal. Morris comes in for Kevin Durant. Watsonabe's checked in for Warren. And it's Mills in for Edmund Sumner. And Mills kicks to Simmons. 
lobs up the alley you pass, and the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's MP. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. MP's got 42 in the game. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. So you see the Warriors taking the game here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Boy, tough game. How did you guys manage to get this win tonight? You know, it, it, it always comes back to defense. You know, in the second half, we got defensive stops. We got rebounds. You know, we were able to get out in transitions. We shared the ball in it. You know, we kept it from moving from side to side. And we just played with great pace tonight. You were really effective at starting the break tonight. How mm. did you go about doing that? Man, just, just cleaning the glass and keeping my head up. You know, looking for the outlet pass, you know, we got a lot of speed and athleticism. So anytime we can use that to our advantage is a good thing. That certainly is. Worked out well tonight. Thank you. Anytime, man.